hey guys how do you do welcome to your programming videos now for today we're going to search this a hello world for semantic ui right here semantic ui of course is a actually a user interface framework just similar to bootstrap right here we shall be using it a lot of course in our current site development to make nice user interfaces now for today we're simply going to see a simple hello world application we're going to see hand button clicks okay how to handle our button clicks of course these are semantic ui uh, buttons default buttons right here then of course we're going to see how we can handle the item clicks using jquery so for instance if i click you can see right here allow clicked then of course this one dismiss clicked it's just simple these are introductory tutorial okay so we already have of course uh, the tutorial right here in our site so what you guys uh, the only thing i require you guys to do is just come right here then this is the tutorial right here that you're going to be covering semantic ui button click we already have this text version of course with the source code right here now you can of course we have the link to download right there but before you download let's just come right and explore you can see we have this one html this this uh right here and then of course our javascript and then of course our result is right here if you click allow allow clicked dismiss dismiss clicked does it that's uh, what we're going to be uh, looking at okay so the first thing i require you guys to do just come right here then edit on code pen so come right here open uh, this one right here is going to open for you at uh, this particular page so semantic ui button click then of course you can see a piece of code right here this is a live ide it's an online ide right here it's free code pen .io. it's what we're going to be using for uh, most of these client side developments why because of course it actually allows me to easily share my code with you guys so for instance you can just head over to this particular page then fork this project and you're going to be having it right there then you can edit it the way you like you can also uh, download now if you want to download the project of course just come right here then download of course the full source code now you can see we have three sections we have the html the js javascript and then of course our result section so the first thing we need to add, add some dependencies right here so come html click right here okay so you can see come to the css section so we need to add of course dependency now semantic ui dependency we're going to be fetching it actually from of course a cdn content delivery network so come right here just make sure you in fact if you head over to this page you'll find it right here okay we add in fact we're only adding right here the button.min.css we're fetching it from cloudflare right here cdn does it that's for our semantic ui that's the only thing we need then of course for javascript we also just need the jquery so we'll go ahead specify the url for the our cdn right here jquery dot mean dot js right here and of course you save and close does it in fact this project right here is going to automatically generate for us of course the html the title tags the html the uh the title and of course the body tags now if you have some specific things that you want to add of in our H header tag you can just come right here add them right here okay so you can just add them right here so otherwise we simply come here we just have uh move directly to our code button id button allow id then of course class ui primary button right here then of course allow we have two buttons uh al allow and of course dismiss right here okay then of course in our javascript we come right here document dot ready when our document is fully loaded then of course we're just going to come right here button allow id we select this particular button then handle this on click event right here then of course we show alert dialog allow clicked if it is dismissed dismiss clicked does it you do that one save it and then of course to run it uh in fact you're going to be able to see the results right here or you just come right here full page or for me given that i'm logged in i can come right here uh, debug mode is going to open for us the page of course with the result okay so you can see right here allow allow clicked 
dismiss dismiss click that's it that's it guys it's just simple we're going to look at more semantic ui and jquery tutorials so you guys make sure you stay tuned by subscribing if you haven't others like this uh lesson make sure you share it okay and take care i'll catch you in the next class